So military families who want to homeschool face special challenges because they're moving from base to base. So what were what were what were your words to the school liaison officers to help ease the way for homeschool families in the military? Well, over the years of being in military homeschool leadership, which has been about 21 of the 22 years we've been homeschooling in different parts of the world, I've had different interactions with school liaison officers. Thankfully, they've been all positive, but I know that that's not always the case. And I think some of the reason it is not the case is school liaison officers don't really understand how to advocate for homeschoolers. Um, and homeschoolers don't really know whether or not school liaisons officers are going to be in their corner. If that person is really someone that's going to help me, there have been situations I know, particularly overseas, where command officers have said, have tasked the school liaison officer to round up the homeschoolers, you know, I want a register of everybody homeschooling, and we know that's not legal. And so, um, and I understand that if that's your that's your commanding officer, I understand that it's hard to say, no, sir, I'm not going to do that. The school liaison officer, I want that school liaison officer to, to know that that military homeschooler that comes in their office and says, hey, we just got here. How can you help me? Either I want to begin homeschooling or we've been homeschooling for a while and I need to know what's in my area. Is there a homeschool support group on this installation? If so, how can I contact them? How can I get involved? What's outside of the installation? Um, you know, a little bit about the laws. I want them to quickly say, oh, I can tell you a little bit, but contact HSLDA because they are the ones. I just want there to be more of, I guess, uh, an ease in the relationships between the military homeschooling families and the school liaison officers. 